Thank you so much for downloading this plugin. Uh, I'm just quickly going to walk you through the installation. It's really, really easy. So once you unzip the folder, you should have uh, the Squarespace minimum order quantity plugin folder. And inside, there's two text documents. There's the jQuery and the CSS. So first, let's just go ahead and open up that CSS and copy everything inside. And then to insert it, we're going to go to design custom CSS and then just insert it into your custom CSS and save that. Next uh, we're going to want to copy over the jQuery and install that on our site. So go back to the folder, open up the jQuery. We're going to, you can press control A or command A if you're on a Mac. That's a shortcut to copy everything. Uh, then copy it and go back to your home panel and go to settings, advanced, code injection. Go down to your code or your footer code injection and then press control V and that will paste in the code into your website. <clears throat> so now you have the plugin installed. Uh, if you go to your shop page, you can then do the final step to actually make this plugin work by editing the product description and putting in the minimum order quantity. So the way this plugin works is it takes the minimum order quantity, it has to be written in bold, and just write a little phrase that says minimum order and then a colon and then the number that you want your minimum order to be. So for example, uh, in my case, I want customers to have to buy at least five of this product. Now it doesn't matter what this phrase is before the colon. The most important thing is that you have a colon and then a number and nothing else. Just leave it as a very simple phrase like this. Also really important, it does have to be in bold. And the reason that uh, I had the plugin read the copy in bold is because if you do have a, a lengthy description uh, and within this description you have um, a colon and you happen to have numbers there, the plugin isn't going to worry about anything that is not in bold. It's going to look for just a phrase with a colon and then a number in bold. So that's the reason that I made that decision. I just wanted it to be a little more user friendly. Okay, so that now that we have uh, determined our minimum order amount, uh, we can just go ahead and save this product. And now you can see that the quantity automatically updates to have the minimum order that we determined here. And if people try and arrow down, doesn't work and if they manually try and type something lower there's a little pop-up that says minimum order quantity is five and once they accept that the minimum quantity automatically bumps up to whatever your minimum is so that's a really great way to pretty much keep people from entering anything under what your minimum quantity is there's really no way for them to do it on this page. So that's great, okay, so if someone adds it to the cart, great, we now have five items in the cart because that was our minimum order. And with our CSS that we added, the they can't change the quantity on this page either, which is awesome. The only drawback to this plugin, as has been mentioned before, is that you, there's no code or CSS that can be placed on the checkout page. Squarespace just doesn't allow it. So potentially customers could come into this quantity field and change the quantity, but you would hope by the time that they're in this checkout process, they understand that there is a minimum quantity and that they wouldn't go and change this value to something lower than the minimum quantity. So. Again, there's nothing that this plugin can do to prevent people from doing that, but this is the best thing out there in terms of um, just making it much, much smoother in the in early on in the process when they're adding products to their cart. 
Okay, and then I want to do one more example because the value that you put in is truly unique to that product. So let's go back to the shop page and let's put in a different minimum order value for product number one. So here you can see this description is really long. Um, it also has a colon and there's not a number on the other side, but again, because the plugin only looks for text in bold, that's not going to be a problem. Uh, and for this one, we'll say 10. Put that in bold and save it. Okay, cool. So now you can see, again, it updated the minimum order quantity. Get a little pop-up if someone tries to put anything less. So that's really cool. And the other great thing about this plugin is that you're not gonna want a minimum order amount on all your products. So if you don't put any, if you don't specify a minimum order amount, then it's just going to default to one, which is great. All right, guys, so hopefully this helped you with the setup of your plugin and you understand how to use it. If you have any questions, you can always contact me on my site, schwartzedmiston.com contact. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy this plugin.